Welcome to Animal A Day, 30 Facts, 30 Animals, Volume 12. Giant African land snails are one of the worst and most prolific invasive species of all time. They eat over 500 different plants and crops, adapt well to many environments, and spread human disease. They are very hardy, as about 9 out of every 10 snail eggs will make it to adulthood. They were originally found in East Africa, possibly in Tanzania or Kenya, but were introduced unintentionally or otherwise in many parts of the world. They can now be found in the US, China, and on some islands in just about every ocean. Basset hounds have been elected as co-mayors several times, like in 2011 in Concord, New Hampshire, and again in 2021 in Littleton, Colorado. Victoria, the co-mayor of Concord, had anti-squirrel policies. Since Belgian Malinois are faster and lighter than German Shepherds, many police stations use them instead. For the same reasons, they're often used in military skydiving operations when canines are needed. Not every black bear is actually black. The majority of them are, but some subspecies like the cinnamon bear of the western United States and the kermode bear of British Columbia, Canada, are different colors. The cinnamon bear is brown or red, while the kermode bear is cream or white. Cardinals are extremely territorial, especially males. They are sometimes fanatical about defending their territory. They will staunchly defend it by attacking any intruding males. Sometimes they even attack their own reflection in windows and mirrors since they don't know any better. They'll go at it until they exhaust themselves, which could take hours. Among all gliding creatures, Draco lizards stand alone in having its patagia upheld by its ribs, which is unlike any other animals where the patagium is merely a skin membrane connected to their limbs. Although in the wild, Chinese giant salamanders are critically endangered with 50,000 individuals or less alive, in captivity it's thought their numbers exceed 2 million. Giant salamanders are farmed in China because their meat is considered a luxury and because they're used in traditional Chinese medicine. Whole giant salamanders can sell for as much as the equivalent of 1500 USD. Honduran white bats make tents. What this means is that they create a shelter in a large overhanging leaf by cutting it in a way that makes it fall into an upside down V-shape. The bats then hang together under the leaf and out of sight of danger in the daytime. True hornets are found mainly in Asian tropics with the exception of the European hornet which has established populations in Europe, Africa, Russia, and North America. Most other insects referred to as hornets in North America, like the bald-faced hornet, are actually yellow jackets. Like their name suggests, jumping spiders can jump, and they can jump far. They measure between 1 25th of an inch to 1 inch, or 1 to 25 millimeters. Some species can launch themselves in the air 50 times the length of their body. This would be like if a human jumped over a 30-story building. When multiple king brown snakes vie for the same female, they will wrestle each other for her. When one flips the other over on its belly, it wins and gets to mate with the prize. Leaf insects are the ultimate masters of camouflage in the insect world. Their remarkable appearance closely resembles leaves, helping them blend seamlessly into their natural habitat. This adaption makes predators tend not to notice them. They also sway back and forth to imitate the gentle movement of leaves on the breeze, adding an extra layer of disguise to avoid being detected. The Maltese has one of the longest histories with humans for a dog. The Mediterranean island country of Malta was given credit for its existence. Throughout history, they were highly favored by royalty and nobility, often depicted in paintings, tapestries, and artifacts from ancient civilizations. Evidence points to them being around since at least the year 2500 BC. The Portuguese water dog moniker is very apropos. They were used all along the Portuguese coast by fishermen. The dogs could corral fish into nets, retrieve items lost in the water, transport things ship to ship or shore, and perform water rescues. Every year around the same time, a breeding event called a salmon run takes place. 
This is where adult salmon from all over return to where they were born by reversing their Osmo regulation, then swim upstream through a gauntlet of rushing water beating against them, and even jump over short waterfalls. Once they finally reach their ancestral home, they're rewarded with mates, and then death. Sea urchins have an outer shell or exoskeleton. It isn't bone, but instead made primarily of calcium carbonate, and forms a protective covering for the internal organs. It's called a test, and consists of plates that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, providing the sea urchin with its spherical appearance. Additionally, they're covered in numerous, long, sharp spines that extend from their test. These spines are also made of calcium carbonate, and serve as a defense mechanism against predators. These needle-like spines can be venomous in some species, causing painful stings or injuries. Stonefish are considered one of the most venomous fish on Earth. They don't attack humans, but people accidentally step on them all the time. This injects a potent, powerful venom into their foot, which can lead to death. Stonefish were confirmed to have caused the deaths of at least several people. Tomato frogs get their name from the females having a deep red to bright reddish orange color. When threatened, they can inflate their bodies to look much bigger, making them appear even more round and tomato-like. Violin beetles were named after musical instruments because of their appearance. Some species have the same general shape and colors as a wooden violin, so you could be fooled if you squint. Their coloration helps them blend in with the forest floor, as they could easily be mistaken for leaves as well. Their flatness further helps them by enabling them to squeeze into tight cracks or openings where predators can't reach them. The reason why water buffaloes were named that is pretty simple. They spend tons of time in the water. They live in some hot areas and don't have the ability to sweat, so in order to cool off, they like to submerge themselves in mud or water. This has the added benefit of protecting them from bugs. West Highland White Terriers were originally bred to be either brindle or sandy in color because white was considered a weak color. But legends say that one time a more red-looking Westie emerged from brush and was shot by a breeder, confusing it for a fox. That person then swore, then and there, that he would only breed for white Westies, so that would never happen again. The northern hairy-nosed wombat is one of the rarest land mammals in the world, with only around 300 currently in existence. It was much more dire in the past though, as their numbers dwindled to about 30 in the 80s. Predators and livestock overgrazing is what mainly caused this, but thanks to conservation efforts, their numbers have ballooned to what it is today. A yeti crab's hairy arms are thought to capture bacteria that is expelled from the hydrothermal vents it lives by. The crabs then consume the bacteria buildups. This seems to be their main source of food. The most toxic dart frog of them all is the golden poison dart frog. This little guy has neon yellow skin and black eyes and can take out dozens of humans with one drop of its poison. Red pandas are technically the original panda because they were given the panda name almost 50 years prior to the giant panda. Hummingbirds have one of the highest metabolism rates in the entire animal kingdom while flying, with their hearts reaching over 1,200 beats per minute. Once anacondas kill their prey, they eat them whole. They eat lots of other animals like birds, deers, turtles, capybara, and even jaguars. In fact, they are so big it's theoretically possible for them to eat a human whole. Barn owls aren't totally symmetrical. Each side of their heads has an ear in a different position. This helps them easier locate the direction of nearby prey. California condors got close to extinction. In 1987, there were only 27 individuals left in the wild. Lead poisoning, habitat destruction, slow reproduction, and the chemical DDT all contributed to the massive downfall of this species. Government efforts led to the capture of every known California condor, and breeding programs were then set in place. They have largely been successful, as over 500 of them are alive today. But they are still critically endangered and have a long way to go before they're stabilized. A firefly's light is created purely through a chemical reaction inside of them called chemoluminescence. 
The process is so efficient that 100% of its energy is converted into light, with the 0% heat created. Compare this with light bulbs, in which 90-95% to of the energy is turned into light, and 5-10% to of that energy is lost to heat. And as always, thanks for watching. Now take that subscribe button to the zoo.